Uh, the Palestinians have been perfectly clear that they will never accept your country's existence. Uh, don't you think that we could all go back to regular broadcasting if you just killed over and died? <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> no, I cannot. That will not happen. Uh, Mr. Rappaport, everyone agrees that after the atrocities of October 7th, you have a right to defend yourselves. But can we all agree that there is no practical way you can defend yourselves that would be acceptable to me, sitting thousands of miles away in my air-conditioned studio? <laughs> and since I've answered my own question, I want to move on to the next one. <laughs> trying for weeks now to give you back the hostages. How do you expect them to talk when you don't stop bombing them? When you say bombing them, what is the context? <laughs> Mr. Rappaport, are you surprised that nobody likes your country given all the lies we've been parroting about you? Repeat the question, please. Mr. Rappaport, are you surprised that no one in the world seems to like you and your Jewish country, given all the Hamas lies that we have been parroting about you? Um, I would like to say on behalf of, of the country that I'm now representing, uh, we could give a fuck. <laughs> Mr. Rappaport, the IDF has shown footage of Hamas terror tunnels underneath hospitals, but can you explain one thing to me? Why are you attacking inside hospitals? <laughs> What's with the accent? Is that a fucking prime? <laughs> uh, Mr. Rappaport, uh, you say that you have discovered tunnel shafts in Gaza. That's cool. That's a fact. Bent. But where do you expect them to hide their tunnel shafts when you've bombed all the other ones? <laughs> We're gonna keep on bombing them until we get the hostages back. Unfortunately, that's the situation. <laughs> And when I say bombing, I mean photo bombing. And uh, Mr. Rappaport, thank you for joining us on the BBC. Uh, one final question. <laughs> and, and when you say BBC, what does that stand for? <laughs> Shabbat shalom.